All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining me today. So let's go through this three-point hitch adjustment. Um, there are some specifications. You, you, you want the book. You, you simply want the book. Go to your dealer, see if they can print you out a couple pages uh, for the procedure for your tractor and serial number. There are a couple specs that, well, there's just one particular spec that is tractor specific, model and serial number specific. Um, but chances are that adjustment hasn't been moved much because nobody would need to adjust that. Um, and so for just in general, uh, if you're having problems with your three point, uh, you're having hydraulic problems with the tractor, oil overheating, you're losing hydraulics after a while on your high pressure side, um, your three point hitch drops really quick when you shut it off, um, things like that. Then, then let's go through this high pressure side. And on a 20 series, like a 4020, if you have a high pressure to sump leak, like in the three point valve housing, when you push the clutch in on a 4020 and you cycle your loader, you have a little bit of time before you need to let the clutch out on a synchro uh, to get oil pumping again. But if you only have a very short, brief moment of time and you're running out of hydraulics quick, then you've got a high pressure to sump leak and there's a good chance it's in that three-point valve housing. So we're gonna go through the adjustments and uh, I'll kind of talk through it here and then I'll I'll try and make some video. Uh, but it's tough to make video, you know, when you're trying to do this. So the first, the first adjustment we wanna do is uh, you're gonna take your pin off of here. You need an inch and a quarter socket to get this plug out. You're gonna put your depth control at the very bottom or your load control at the very bottom. And then uh, unhook this, push your handle all the way forward, and you're going to get a vice grip, and you're going to want to be about 10 inches from the center of this shaft out. And what you're going to do is, is uh, with the three-point down, you're going to come up until the three-point lifts up a little bit, and then you're going to start pulling back until the three-point starts to drop, and then you're going to start going forward till the three-point starts to lift. <clears throat> you want three-sixteenths to three-eighths of a movement there. If you're a little bit extra, that's okay. But if there's none, if you can hear, whenever you stop the three-point, if you can hear the load of the engine not change, then, we're, then we need to add clearance, and we're going to turn that screw this way. And uh, and if, if you're really moving this thing a long ways to get any sort of movement, then you're going to turn. And with the engine off and that plug off, take a flashlight and shine in there and find it's a little slot head screw and, and find that. And uh, I would say in the beginning, for the first couple times, shut the tractor off just for safety. Give that thing a quarter or a half a turn adjustment if you're fairly close. And, and then start the tractor up and try it again. Just for safety that you don't have your head in here on a cab tractor, that you don't have your head in here. And you're trying to look in that hole and you bump something and you crush your head. Um, how, about, how about we... Wood tick between fingers, squeeze hard would be the analogy of your head being displaced by this arm between the cab. Uh, we don't want that. <clears throat> the second thing we're going to do then once that's up to spec is you're going to bring your load to maximum setting and you're going to put your, your three-point lever so the back of the lever is flush with that rear notch for being almost all the way raised. And then we're going to come in here, you're going to take that plug out and we're going to have our special tool with a piece of rod with a 916 deep well welded to it. And before you even start the tractor, you're going to turn that all the way in clockwise. Then you're going to start the tractor. Your three point's going to be down. And your, your lever's going to be hooked back up. Make sure your lever's hooked back up. And you're just going to turn backwards. And all of a sudden, boom, the three point should come up. And so these adjustments are fairly universal. Uh, if you're having problems, I, I would care less what, what model tractor you have. I would go through these couple adjustments and see if they can't help you. Uh, the big thing to listen for is noise. When your three-point is all the way down and you lift, you hear the tractor engage hydraulics, you hear the tractor make a noise, that noise needs to stop when the three-point reaches its height. Uh, after you've tried adjusting the valve clearance, if you're still getting that hissing or with that plug out, you're still getting, you can see oil being sprayed or vaporized or, or, va or vaporized. It's high pressure spray or oil running down. 
then it might be time to pull that valve off and go back a few videos and just rebuild that valve. Chances are the needles and the guides are leaking. Um, but yeah, so we'll do the videos here and uh, kind of going through these steps. And I thought I would do this kind of walk through because like I said, while you're trying to do it live on the machine, um, I sometimes get ahead of myself or I'm, I'm, I'm thinking one way and, and then you're also trying to describe it and you make mistakes. And so, all right, let's, let's, let's see how this turns out. You know it's humid out when that pipe frosts up. It's the humidity of the air freezing to the pipe. So what we're gonna do, we got our load selector set where it says it's zero. And we're gonna, we're gonna bring it up some. And then we're gonna watch up here. And I'm gonna move it back a little bit until that arm starts to fall down very slowly. And go back to go back up. See how much movement there is to get that arm to drop, and how much I move it to go back up. So it's a little excessive. So what we'll do is we'll shut the tractor off. I'll pull this plug, and there's a screw in there, and uh, we'll adjust that screw. Uh, I believe it's counterclockwise to tighten the valves up, so I'll go counterclockwise just a little bit. Then we'll start the tractor and do it. We'll, we'll adjust it again or check it again. I said that backwards. This gets you more clearance, that gets you less clearance. So now we have a good. So we can move him up. You can hear the tractor stop cycling oil which is great and then we got to move just a little bit so mine's got that fine oh well, my players come loose on the handle um, yeah so yep there we go and the big thing is we don't hear uh, hydraulic oil so now we'll um, do that load sensing so we got our lever set where it needs to be and we got our tool on there and now in theory we got to just be able to start going until the rock shaft goes to move. We have our assistant push it all the way forward. And she'll pull back to that same spot. Yep. And now I'll slow down. Oops. Go the other way. There we go. And then when it's all the way up, you can hear the load change. And uh, there we go. So the tool, weld yourself a socket, 916 steep well, onto a shaft. That way you can't drop the socket inside the transmission case. And remember on this adjustment, your load selector in the cab is on the maximum setting. And so, yeah, all right. I don't know if I did a good job, but that's the basics of adjusting that three-point. Woo! I'll tell you what, we gotta get some runaround time on this engine before we pull it hard. That blower, these six, the 50 series vents here, that moves a lot of air, boy. And so does them, them updated um, them updated vents. Push the clutch in, pull the throttle back, touch three. Oh, it's 
nice as can be. I got the mayo spear on. We're gonna grab a clover bale and take out to the cows. Um, and uh, that'll be a different topic. Oh, boy, this is... This is nice. The quietest, nicest 4430 cab I've been in. They're all tipped the wrong way. I wonder if I could just spear one on the side. <laughs> but, uh, I'll see if I can't fumble one around. And, uh, get one. I don't know how much horsepower this pump is set at, but I'm a long ways from my PTO line, and I'm in C2, and I'm just tearing up the road. I can't get enough power to the ground in C2. Ah, there we go. We break her in right. Make her work for it. <laughs>